Some big findings this week about a tiny bird and its extraordinary migration from the Adirondacks in eastern Canada to South America. Get this thing out of here. About two dozen black pole warblers were equipped with tiny backpacks that recorded their travels inside a computer chip. So this is the little device, the light level geolocator, uh, which sits on the bird's back. We can then download the information and find out where the bird went, uh, how long it took to get there, when it left, when it stopped, when it arrived. And the results confirmed what researchers have long suspected. Amazingly, we confirmed this spectacular transoceanic nonstop flight. There's now proof the birds flew from North America to South America over open ocean for two to three days without stopping, some covering as many as 1,700 miles. Nobody ever had irrefutable evidence of that, so we set out to to obtain that evidence. It's a risky journey that begins by bulking up. Fat is needed for the flight. So they gorge on insects, which in the early fall are plentiful still. And they'll, some birds will actually double their weight. All that fat and fuel helping to propel them on a dangerous journey, an amazing migration by one of nature's tiniest birds.